Hi, it's Richard in the Old Loki Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how I wired up my table saw. Here are the outlets where it all gets started. These are two separate 30 amp circuits on their own breakers and their own 10 gauge wire all the way back to the breaker panel. And uh, the upper one feeds the vacuum as you can see and the lower one feeds the saw. And so those two cables um, go down and work their way over to the saw so let's go take a look at where they come in. Here's the box where those two cables wind up. It has a switch in it and it's got two plug-ins, uh, one for the table saw and one for the vacuum. And here is where those two cables that came out of the outlets over there on that post actually go into the bottom of this box. And what's inside that box is a double pole single throw switch which can control two separate circuits because there's two separate cables going over there, the two separate outlets and the two separate 30 amp circuits. So this is a diagram of a single pole single throw SPST switch and as you can see uh, there's just one pole on this or one one connection when you open this it stops the flow of electricity when you close it it closes the switch and electricity throws to the go, goes to the load so that might be a typical type of situation you have in a house with the wall switch that controls the light up in the ceiling that's the way that works. Here's a picture of what a single pole, single throw switch looks like. This is called a knife switch. And as you can see, there's some contacts there. You take that rod or bar and you stick it down there in those contacts and you complete the circuit. That's a single pole, single throw switch. And here's a picture of a DPST, the double pole single throw switch. And it has two different circuits that it can control with those two bars. You close the switch, both circuits get heated up and current flows in two different circuits. And this is what a good old SPST single pole, single throw switch looks like. You've got the two contacts here and inside this switch is a contact you know, the pole that makes contact inside that switch, just like we saw in the knife switch. So you throw the switch, you turn it on, and uh, electricity throws through this, flows through the switch. Now, a double pole single throw switch has got a set of contacts on the other side. So it's got two poles inside of it that can control two different circuits. This is a SPST. So you'd have those two screws on the other side on a DPST dub double pole single throw switch. Now one more thing before we move on to how this thing is wired up over the saw. This is a duplex outlet, regular outlet, and um, this is the, the uh, side with the narrow uh, hole here is the hot side. This is the other side, and so the hot side normally has brass colored or gold colored screws, and then the other side has silver screws. But in any case, uh, one circuit uh, wires up to this thing, hot on one side, uh, and the other wire on the other side and it heats up both outlets so both of them go together Be because there's a little tab right here that connects these two screws. This little guy right here, this tab right here and so that connects uh, this screw to this screw so you only need to wire up one of these on each side and there's a tab on the other side as well. Well if you take a pair of needle nose pliers and you work this back and forth you can break that tab. So you get some metal fatigue there and that tab will break off. And when that tab, you see the silver one right there, when that tab breaks off, you separate the top and bottom of this duplex outlet and you separate that into two completely separate circuits. So that's how this shop is wired up over here, uh, how the saw is wired up, the vacuum and the um, saw wind up on different circuits. All right, time for the big complicated diagram. Here's the two plugs that we've started off with over on the post, plugged into the two separate 30 amp circuits. And those cords come around 
laying on the floor. They come over. They come into that box that I showed you uh, at, at you know at the bottom of that outlet box, and then internally the hot leads of both those go to the contacts of the double pole single throw switch so you've got two poles in there those poles are ganged together hooked together so when you throw the switch both of those circuits get closed or opened uh, in other words on or off at the same time then the outlet has been broken by uh, from the top and the bottom by bending that tab or removing that tab on either side of the outlet box uh, not the box but the receptacle and then uh, uh, one hot lead goes over here the other hot lead goes over here uh, then the common leads or the other side leads are coming in on the other side so the saw plugs into one of these and the vacuum plugs into the other one now the saw and the vacuum they both got switches so when you throw if they're both off when you throw this switch this main switch then nothing happens but what i do is i leave the vacuum switch on all the time so when you throw this switch then the vacuum starts because it switches on but the saw doesn't the saw has its own switch of course and then this gets heated up of course because you've thrown this switch so the saw outlet is hot then it just is a matter of turning on the saw switch and then the saw begins to run. So here's this outlet I've been talking about. The double pole single throw switch that controls two circuit is on, on the left. Turn that on, heats up both of the outlets but they're on separate circuits. And then over to the side of that is the switch for the table saw itself. So it is in the off position, but the switch for the vacuum is in the on position. So let's plug these things in now and see how this whole thing works. So the way these work together is as follows. When you turn this switch on, it's a double pole, right? Two different circuits, complete both those circuits, one to the upper outlet, one to the lower outlet, one goes to the saw, one goes to the vacuum. Uh, so flip this on, the vacuum switches on, the vacuum starts. Then flip this switch and the saw starts. Then finish your cut, turn this switch off, saw stops, turn this off, vacuum stops as well. So we've really got two switches in series here for the saw because you have to throw both of these switches to make the saw run. It also separates the two devices, the uh, saw and the vacuum, are on two completely separate circuits uh, going over the two separate outlet boxes. And uh, that means that uh, they won't load each other down. Uh, if they both started at the same time on the same circuit, uh, chances are you could throw the breaker. But um, that doesn't happen with this arrangement. All right, so there you have it. That's how I wired up the saw and the vacuum in the old Oki workshop using a double pole single throw switch. Thanks for watching.